Yo, what's up, guys? I was grinding, and I'm gonna put this at the front of the video. Next video, I was grinding, and uh, it looks like Cloud is evolving. Might start lagging because I had the speed up on. It was working a bit, so. Yo! That looks so much better than the original. Flanat. I appreciate Flanat, the insect wool Pokemon. Its fleece quality changes to generate. Yeah, its fleece quality changes to generate strong static electricity with a small amount of wool. Its large eyes never fail to spot even minuscule prey. So that's all I wanted to, to see. I'll put this at the beginning of the episode 5, I think. So that's pretty hype, man. Hello everybody, a little birdie told me, and by a little birdie I mean Patters because I'm watching his series on this and this is why I started playing the game, is because of him. Uh, if you go to Barack, she, he just called me hotter than Brock. Okay, hey Cherish, I heard scientists at Peter City Museum have found pretty rare amber in Viridian Forest, but apparently they can't get to it because of some bee drill. You're a great trainer. So you should go offer them your help. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go help these trainers. Or we're gonna go help the. The the scientists. I believe I gotta go to the museum. But first off, I did a lot of grinding off screen. I didn't really want to get monesty up to anything higher than level eleven because it was kind of getting annoying. After I got skills, got to level 19 just by helping train. Butch is level 15. One more uh, level he's going to evolve. Cloud evolved, as you'll see at the beginning of the level 15. Flintstone's level 11. And Cup, I don't really feel like leveling up because I'm not really a huge fan of the leap. But maybe we'll fuse it into a Pokemon later. But we talked to this lady. Hi, do you like Pokemon fossils? I'm a scientist here at Peter City Gym. A few days ago, I discovered some fossilized resin in Verdian Forest that might contain the DNA of a prehistoric Pokemon. But when I went back there, the excavating team, the site had been completely back with the excavating team. The site had been completely taken over by bee drills, by a bee drills nest. It's impossible to go there anyway, anywhere near it. I see you're a Pokemon trainer, so could you please help me get rid of the Beedrills? Yes. Great. Meet me at Verdian Forest. I'll wait there near the Amber. This is something I really like about this game, is that there's actually side quests. If you go to the hotel, there's some more side quests that I just chose not to do, because I don't really want to do them. One of them is about getting ten tiny mushrooms, I believe. Uh, and they'll give you a ball mushroom. And the other one is... What is it called? The other one's like finding a Spiro, I think. But we can pick up mushrooms here. Uh, I just gotta find out where they are. Yeah, there she is. Sweet. Hey. Ah, oh, there you are. I set up a ladder so you can climb up the cliff. It, I'm not coming with you. I'm way too afraid of bee drills. So, I'm gonna switch. I wanna put Butch in the front. Because I feel like Butch will be able to help a lot. Also, let me quickly check something with Cloud. Okay, Cloud's still electric poison. I don't know why I thought it would have changed. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the Venomoth didn't evolve, the Flaffy did. I love the pink on, um, on Cloud. Okay, we're in a double battle. Butch has got Peck. So this will be perfect. And Butch does need to level up. And he has uh, Intimidate, so we're lowering their attack. Butch is evolving soon, so we want to level him up. Peck. Quick attack. I'm pretty sure level 20 is like the max for how much Pokemon, like what level a Pokemon can be. So if that is true, like till the second gym, <laughs> we gotta stop using Skittles.
because Skittles is gonna over level. I'm really starting to like Butch and um, Cloud looks promising as a Pokemon, so we can definitely start using those guys. Okay, we haven't beat them yet. I thought this was gonna one shot them, but uh, that's fine. Quick attack, kill that one. Be drill use for attack. I kind of wish it used any other move than Fury Attack, because Fury Attack just takes a while. Thank God for only using it twice. Can multiple time moves only happen once? I don't I don't know if that's actually a, the case. Unless it, like, hit them once and then they died. Okay, Butch should be evolving soon. And we've reached level 20, so we should probably switch out at... We should actually switch out Skittle. Which is evolving. His horns are just gonna get bigger. No one we'll need that moonstone. Butch evolved into a Nido drill. I think it's or a needle drill, a needle bull. Pokemon. We're I'm gonna switch loud up to the front and we'll see how this goes. I think this is the last battle. Go Butch and Cloud. Pretty sure. I can't remember if Beedrill is bug flying or if it's still poison type. Right? So I'm gonna just try Thundershock. It's stab. Ooh. Was that a crit? No, it wasn't. We're just that much stronger after leveling up. Okay. It's not flying. So it might be bug poison still. And if that's the case, will confusion be super effective? Because. I'm, I don't know if Bug is resistant towards it. Let's, can I just tell you, Cloud looks way better pink. Like I know I said this already, but can I just say it again? Uh, we could probably kill this with Peck, the second one. Let's try Confusion. I always think that uh, Nidorino, when, like, to evolve Nidoran male into Nidorino, I always thought it's, like, level 25. But I think that might be the level that people say you should use the Moonstone on it. I could be both wrong about those, but for some reason I remember Nidorino and f 25. Okay, it was super effective, but we cleaned them up in a, in a, in a swift fashion. No one can really complain. He's gonna come. You did it! You got rid of the bee drills. Let's go check out that amber. Wow, they're even more amber than I remember. Remembered. I know I'll get. I'll give you some as a thanks, as a gift for you to rid the bee drills. Obtained old amber. Bring it to the lab in Cinnabar Island to examine it. Who knows what might be able to turn it into a living Pokemon. Um. Okay, so it looks like we won't be able to use it at Petalburg uh, Museum. We can't revive it here, it looks like, is what it's it seems to be telling me. So, but I want to check anyways. Be 
because I'm stubborn like that. And if, like, for some reason that that was, like, an oversight, I like, I don't imagine the game would tell me the wrong thing, but if that ended up just being, like, I'd feel stupid if I came to Cinnabar and they're like, yeah, Pewter City's got a great place to revive fossils, and I'm like, but I heard you had a great place to, uh, to do it too. And who knows, we might not even make it that far in this. Um, yeah, see, you can do it right here. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, but our fossil reviving machine cannot extract DNA for the amber. Oh, okay, see, there you go. Didn't hurt to check. Now we can go continue. Um, okay, wow, that was a weird glitch. It would not let me move. Um, are Pokemon full health? No, they're not, but there is a Pokemon Center outside the cave. Oh, I didn't want to rename it. I wanted to switch it. I was really confused. I want to put Cloud in the front because Butch has uh, Intimidate, and it will lower the Pokemon's attack. Okay, cool. Just go down. It's going to lower the attack of the Pokemon. And if we, it lowers the attack of the Pokemon every single time, it's gonna it's gonna add up. So, let's keep going into this cave. I've went down here, right, and I fought all these people. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, there's this guy. I work for the. Oh, it gave me Rock Smash. Okay. I probably won't use that for now. We already caught a cave encounter, so this one does not count as our first encounter. I want to fight this lady. Imagine people, like, if a cave was just a way to get to a next town in real life, right? Like, imagine how weird that would be. Is this going to be ice poison or dark poison? We're not a uh, psychic, so it doesn't matter. We're poison electric. Oh my god, I don't want to lose Cloud. Cloud looks so freaking adorable. I don't want to lose it. It looks so much better than... Okay, I like to imagine we can survive this. And... Okay, I thought that missed. Sweet. I want to check how much money we have. Yeah, see, when you rematch a trainer, it doesn't give you money back, like new money. So, that's something I kind of like about this game, is that it doesn't just make me insta-rich. I don't want to use too many potions, because obviously we don't want to like waste potions, but because we'll have some more serious battles later down the line. Stardon. But, uh, I'm gonna do that now for Cloud. There's an item over there. I might teach... If uh, Laleep can learn Rock Smash, I'll teach it Rock Smash. Because I want to get to that item. <coughs> Francis Picatini. That's going to turn into a Ryanite. Um, What's poison? 
Yeah. Poison powder is so good. Thunder waves me. We had the idea of statusing each other. But my status is better. I'm pretty sure Twister can flinch me, so I'm, that might just be what they're going for. The paralyzed flinch. Ooh, if this thing has Dragon Rage, I don't want to talk it into existence, but if this thing has Dragon Rage, that will suck. Um, I may switch out, but I'm going to try one more, because I'm pretty sure I can live one more. Yeah, and that was a crit, so we could have really lived one more. There we go. I'm gonna take Cloud out of the party now because Cybul. I'm gonna switch to Butch. It could no Psychic type actually. That looks hilarious. This might not be the best Pokemon to switch into. It might know a Psychic. It might know Psychic. So, I'm actually just going to switch straight up into Skittles. I feel like this is just the best play overall because this one could also have end up having um Dragon Rage. We kill in one shot. <clears throat> Team Rocket Francis, done for. Moonblast. Can we teach that to... Well, is Butch really physically offensive? Yeah, he is. Um... Well, I guess we're not going to teach anyone that. Let me pull out the TM bag, though, because we will... Can I learn... <clears throat> Man, my throat. I, I am sorry. Cloud can now learn Volt Switch. I don't know what's up with my throat. It is just not feeling... It's feeling clogged up. Volt Switch is physical, right? No, it is special. That's pretty good. I might switch it out for Thunder Wave, actually. Because I'm really using Poison to get it. I know Thunder Wave is really good for catching Pokemon. Also, I was that wasn't my intention with the TMs. I wanted to pull out Rock Smash. Can Lilip learn Rock Smash? No. I don't want to teach anyone else Rock Smash. Even though it is just a TM. No, I'm not going to do it. I didn't switch out of Cloud. Can Cloud run away paralyzed with 9 health? Let's gamble. <laughs> For now, just to run away from wild Pokemon, I'll switch to Skittles. Because... But see, for, for trainers, I'm going to switch to Butch. This might get a little annoying, but it's to save potions and time. But imagine going through a cave to get to another town. I imagine there's actual places that this would be a thing in the world. Like, there's probably everything in the world. <laughs> but imagine this. Because I can't. Spinawag gets freaking wrecked by Butch. Wood Duck. Wood Duck. Wooper Psyduck. That that just fits so like the, the name just fits so well into making it. Wood Duck. Cause I was thinking like pseudo Wudo, but the the woo part would have been like the wood part would have been no, oh, I don't know. Wudo. <laughs> I would've like Wudo Wudo. A Wooper Pseudo Wudo fusion. That would have been great. 
This one's just got a plain ass duck. Damn. Toga C. I was thinking a Toga be horsey, but I understand. Is this part fairy, probably? Oh, it still did a lot of damage, so I don't even care. Metronome, super aqua mega attack. I said aqua. Butch's double kicks were actually doing so much work. We were grinding on that. We were grinding uh, using the trainer with the smear goal. And it was just destroying that smear goal with double kick. I know this is going to get annoying. But it, I swear to God, it will save us in the long run. Maybe I won't do it. I, I feel like it would take less time to switch out the Pokemon every time than it would to just run into a wild Pokemon. We seem to not be running into many wild Pokemon, knock on wood. Man Jr. So. It seems fine. This thing could have a psychic move. I kind of want to tempt my fate, though. It's... F fighting psychic. Probably, actually. <clears throat> Maybe switch to Skittles, but it will. It could. It's. Ten, I'm ten levels above it with Skittles. It could use a fighting move, but a, why would it? When I have four times resist a fighting move, it's focus energy. We probably could have killed it. I always forget if Mankey is just fighting or normal fighting, because I always feel like it's normal fighting. I'm not quite sure why I think that, but I do. Tor drill. Tor drill. We had a drill Pokemon. Torchic something. Oh, B drill. What the fuck? Why didn't I know that? We have we had a maybe something. Uh Is Peck gonna be super effective on it now? Not really. Okay, let's try bite. Okay, that was more st <laughs> that was more stronger. Focus energy into scratch. What a play. Ditto. Diglett Squirtle? Oh. Ditto Squirtle. Oh, I should have double kicked. It's a normal type. Flinch, I dare you. Oh, wow, that critted. It flinched so hard it stopped moving. Can we get a potion? Boost ball. Misspelled beast ball. Uh, is it just all in here? No. Is do we have a bag for pokeballs? This was the bag for po boost ball. A partic particular low catch rate ball that makes the caught Pokemon gain boosted exp if were obtained in a. So I guess if you throw this at a Pokemon, either the Pokemon that caught it would gain boost exp. Or the Pokemon that was out because you get EXP from catching Pokemon. I don't know if that's actually a thing in here. But uh, if that's the case, that's interesting. Also, there's something coming up that I want to do. So this would be Water Grass, I believe. I don't think it's Rock. Critical. Oh, it's. Is it rock type? Oh, yes, it would be rock type, right?
Oh, no, it's not super effective either. That was weird. Tree Junior. I'm actually going to switch out. I don't know why I keep staying on these Mime Junior fusions. <coughs> tree Junior. It kind of looks like a Trico a little bit. Like, the arms kind of fit the Trico vibe, I think. Maybe I'm just misremembering what Trico looks like. But if it was, if it's fairy grass, that my poison sting would have done a lot of damage. So maybe I should have stayed in if it's only gonna double slap me. There's something coming up though. I said this before, but there's something coming up that I want to go to because it's very, very good. Especially now, it's actually such a cool. Uh, I've seen it in a couple other games. They add this kind of thing in, but I think it's down here okay I do need to teach someone rock smash for this which is sad that I wish I just taught one someone rock smash before I'm not gonna go back for any items uh, right now maybe go off screen if it's something amazing <clears throat> I guess Mon Monesty can learn rock smash I'll switch it out for astonish but uh that sucks that we have to do this It's not an HM, so I'm going to assume we can, like, delete it with a TM, another TM. But it just sucks that I have to teach it to a Pokemon in general. So, Mount Moon Square, you can come in here and you can buy potions and stuff. See? Um, fresh water for $200. Don't, like, sure thing. Does this thing... Fairy Gym and... No. Okay. I'm good. <clears throat> so we can heal up real quick. It's got really nice music, too. I don't know how loud that is on the recording. I haven't, I haven't really, like, listened to the music while editing. Do we have a paralysis heal? No, it doesn't look like it. We had a full restore that I could have used. Sometimes... When I was playing this originally, I came over here and there were Clefairies dancing around, so that's weird. That there aren't in this one. But now if we need anything for Rock Smash going forward, we have a Pokemon that learns Rock Smash. Or that learnt Rock Smash. I think I'm going to finish up... I'm going to try and finish up Mount Moon this episode. I feel like these episodes go very long and I don't really get anything done. I don't want to make a really long epi like a video that no one wants to watch because it's way too long, but at the same time I don't want to make a bunch of useless videos that uh that like I didn't do anything in. Elichu. That thing looks horrifying, but the black purple on the Pichu looks sick. Cawfeel, that looks like a coughing seal fusion. Ooh, crit. I was hoping for that flinch, but eh. Look at these purple Pokemon. Coughing is such a good face for fusions. It just makes any Pokemon look unbelievably derpy. Headbutt, that would actually be pretty good. I think Poison Sting. I feel like we don't use Poison Sting at all, even though it's our only stab move. Once this, if this thing learns Play Rough later on, but here we go, some story developments. Is this is it? The final tests are done. We are finally ready to launch Project Fusion. Our machine will amplify the waves generated by DNA splicers by using the power of the Moonstones. We will then use the giant antennas we've placed here in Mount Moon to broadcast them to the entire region. 
This will cause wild Pokemon all over the region to fuse with each other, causing chaos and mayhem everywhere. What? Who let this child in here? What is the meaning of this? We have no time for this. I'll take care of her myself. Sorry, kid, but this is an extremely important operation. We cannot afford to take any chances here. Just bitch slap me with a Kangaskhan? Go ahead, initiate the Fusion Waves protocol. Alright, boss. See, when I first played that, I, I was like, whoa, what is this machine? Why is it here? But this is such a cool, like, differentiate, like, different story from the original. Kind of sees Giovanni in the field, which is cool. That's it. Operation Waves was a success. Fusion Waves was a success. Let's wrap this up and head back to headquarters. We're almost out, so this will pretty much be the end of the episode. I found the fossil. They're both mine. Golfa. Gold duck. Cleffa. I want to try bite. Critical, not very effective. Okay. And we're infatuated by Q Charm. This will suck. Let's try pack. I should have tried headbutt. Immobilized by love. I used to never know what immobilized, like how to pronounce it. Why are people calling my house? We get calls like 24 7. I, I, I can't remember how I used to pronounce it as a kid, but it was like, Im, Im, like I would be like immobilute, imbolicized, I think I would pronounce it. I've been abolicized by love? I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> but it's immobilized by love. I feel like my voice is really weird today. I feel like it's very gravelly. Like, I have no idea what's going on with my voice. I thought puberty was over. I thought the voice-changing stage of puberty was over. Nido Triss. I'm just gonna keep you out. But this is a Nido Fortress? Damn, that thing is really scary. And the spike actually fits. Um... I hope it's part gr or steel. I th hope it's steel poison because this mud shot will kill probably. Nice. Let's go. Rolf, R Ralph. It's a Ralt something. It's a Ralt on a. What the heck? Literally, my entire extended family is calling me. What happened? It vanished? Teleport's an actual move in this game? It's like Shadow Force? What? I guess in trainer battles? Fine, take one of the fossils. We already have a Kabuto fusion, so we might as well take the Helix fossil. I usually go for the dome, because... I usually go for the dome, ugh, right in the head. No, but I usually go for the dome fossil, because I like Kabuto a lot more than uh, our Lord and Savior Helix, personally. But since we already have one, we might as well try to diversify... Um... Our, our team a little bit. Oh, there's an item back here, definitely. Yeah, Pokey Toy. Put in the battle items. Battle items. No. Battle items. That's weird. <laughs> there's it. This doesn't fit. Pokey Toy tracks Pokemon. Okay, it's useless. We're almost done. Does this look rock? That rock looked out of place. 
so it looked special to me. Sweet, we've made it out to Route 4. We've made it here, and that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to get to go through the Nugget Bridge, get another in two encounters, fight a rival, all that nasty, nice stuff. Fight Misty, maybe. This next episode might be the episode y'all been waiting for, the most active episode. Or it might take the long, so long to beat all the gym or all the trainers that we just wait for the gym. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to record another episode right after this.